Yeah. Make sure you ball up, all right? Yep. We went to Harpers Ferry, West Virginia, the same week the leaves had turned autumn colors. Harpers Ferry is where the Shenandoah flows into the Potomac, where the Appalachian Trail crosses from north to south. Harpers Ferry was a crossroads of river and rail and early American history. Lewis and Clark came here to begin exploring a continent. John Brown came here to start a revolution. We came here to go zip lining in a canopy of fall color. With spans of up to 700 feet from towers as tall as 70 feet, we had hit speeds of 30 to 50 miles per hour, easy. Slowing down and landing, that was the hard part. If we came in too fast, our guides would give us a flying squirrel sign to spread our arms and legs wide, increasing wind resistance and slowing our flight. Almost as if you were diving into a pool, like that's exactly how you guys it. <laughs> or making like Fred and Barney on the landing ramp. If you'd like to, you can get your Flintstone feet going a little bit before the platform, you know? Just use your floor when we to get up there. You leave the rest to gravity. Or you defy gravity on crossings like this plank bridge. Or on the Burma Bridge, three cables strung between towers and lashed together with a series of V-shaped ropes. Just to make it a little more interesting, we left it a little looser on that side, so your weight's going to close the bridge in. The way you guys want to walk across this bridge, you want to go ahead and walk like a duck, all right? Most stable way to get across, all right? If you do happen to slip and fall, best advice I can give you, take left or right, go straight down. Hey. This has been called the world's most expensive nutcracker, <laughs> for an industrial thumb. But before you go zipping down the line, you have to climb up into the canopy. Look at all the color down below. Here, high into the trees, you can see three states. Virginia, in the distance. Maryland, at the water's edge. And West Virginia, 60 feet straight down. And all around us, autumn colors bathed in the Appalachian sunshine. Zip lines are a psychological thrill ride. The ride along the line only lasts a few seconds, but you spend long minutes waiting for your turn. Plenty of time to think about heights and the more unpleasant effects of gravity. Every time I stepped up to the edge, I got butterflies in my stomach. You stand there, you look out through space at the far tower, then you look down, about 60 or 70 feet down, and you have to wait your turn. All right, you're good to zip, all right? So I'll see you over there. And you fall until the cable catches you. The butterflies come rushing up through your body and out of your mind. Then it's just the rush of the wind and the blur of the forest as you outfly them. About 50 miles an hour, and 